Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Polynesian Resort and Ohana is officially reopening today. I am so excited. This is one of my all-time favorite restaurants and we did not get a reservation. They went like that. So I decided to come out and the restaurant opens in two hours and just see if we're here for the opening that maybe we can get in. Anywho's, let's go do this. One thing we got going for us though, if we can't get into Ohana, we can actually sit at Tambu Lounge and still get some of our favorite noodles and appetizers that they would serve in there. Ultimately, I would love to be able to get into Ohana, but if that doesn't happen, at least we still can get the noodles, you know what I mean? But it's a whole new menu, a completely different dining experience, and I'm excited to try it all. I mean, like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite restaurants before I've ever even come here. My buddy Evan is actually going to get something to eat at Ohana. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like Stitch? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, hey, well, look at that. You got a hidden Stitch. I love it. Well, enjoy your food, buddy. I hope you have fun. I am with Jackie, super enthused, and we're going to just sit here at the Tambu Lounge and drink some beers and hopefully get on the wait list, if it's possible. First guest. Kevin's got the first guest there. <laughs> Woo! First guest in Ohana. <laughs> Enjoying. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. And holy moly, we are gonna be eating at Ohana. I don't even know how this happened, but a nice family came over and they have two extra spots and uh, they asked us to join them and I think we just kindly accepted so it's happening. It's happening. And now we officially get to walk in to Ohana. I am so happy. Oh, look at, look at the skewers on the grill. Hi, friends. Oh, it all looks so good. Look at this. The atmosphere is so amazing. Everyone is excited to be back. The cast members, unbelievable. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Appetizers are here. We've got the cheddar bacon biscuits, the salad, and thank you guys so much for having us join you. I feel really honored. So I hope you guys are, you know, I hope we're going to enjoy the food. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna start off and we're gonna get a nice little bread service and we're gonna get Ohana coconut papaya scones and then cheddar bacon biscuits. I have the menu pulled up and I always feel like it's easier to tell you guys instead of show you on the phone. They don't have like paper menus, everything's still online, but I'm excited. I'm excited to try the coconut uh, scones because they look phenomenal. Like when you walked into Ohana, you actually came and you got your own bread. Like didn't they start it off that way? So like when you walked into Ohana, you first picked up your bread and then the bread was taken to you to the table. Yeah, so this is the coconut pineapple scone and it looks phenomenal. So I trying the coconut and papaya, not pineapple, papaya scone and a little honey butter too. And you know I'm all about the bread service, so this is gonna probably be good. This legitimately tastes like a dessert bread. Honestly, like this is something I would expect to get for like breakfast. Look at that. Unbelievable. Mahalo. Mahalo. One of you here. Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo. <laughs> that is awesome. Now I'm gonna try the uh, Cheddar Bay Bacon Biscuits. And I did add the butter to it, and I think these are gonna be more of a savory biscuit compared to the coconut uh, papaya ones, but we'll see. Here. Mmm. Good, right? Mm-hmm. I definitely think I like the scones better, but this is more of a bread service. I don't taste much cheese in there, oh, but the good stuff's coming. There's the pot stickers. That's what we've been looking for right there. What else she got in that magical what tray up there? Got? There's more coming around the other side. The wings. 
The wing. Oh boy. <laughs> me, Tommy, me want wingy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Wow. We gotta make some space in here. I like how they give us these little handy things that grab the wings. I like flats. I'm all about the flats, you know? Ooh, and then also gotta grab a pot sticker. Ooh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Look at those wings right there. And I think I'm gonna start with the pot stickers. These were my favorite. Actually, these were the first pot stickers I've ever eaten in my life. Same thing with those noodles. The first ones I've ever, I, I've always been a picky eater before I came to Disney World and discovered this world of food. And <laughs> so this like kicked off a pot sticker adventure. And now I'm glad to say I love pot stickers and it's all because of here. So here we go. We're gonna try them. Revisiting my first pot sticker. <laughs> Look at that. Nice and crunchy and perfect. I'm gonna try that like weird hack when it comes to wings. Where you're like, you know, you, you kind of, I don't know how they do it. They push down, they break, and then they suck the bone out. I saw that. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work like the way I thought it would. I don't know how they do it, but I tried. I think what you're supposed to like crush it and then like suck the meat off of it. I don't know. I'll, I'll just try it here, huh? Oh my god! Oh my god! You did it! It worked! Oh my god! I can't believe that worked, but these are so good. And it's a honey corridor sauce instead of like a buffalo sauce. Oh, I still have a little bit of meat in there. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the dumplings are pork. So it's pork dumplings and they're tossed inside of a garlic chili sauce. So that's probably what that little broth flavor you were tasting, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like it actually is tossed in sauce and they were phenomenal. And we can get as many as we want, so we'll get more. <laughs> we'll get more. Yeah, <laughs> There we go. More wings, more, more pot stickers. That's the way. Oh wow, doubling it up, huh? Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Look at this feast. Very good stuff, cousin. And we have we're not even at the main course. Oh, I love the salad. I love it. It's too much fruit. The thing that I noticed is now the pot stickers and the wings come out separate. Used to be pot stickers, wings, veggies, and noodles. Oh. So I guess they're using the noodles with the main course. Uh -huh. So like honestly, the noodles used to be the appetizer, oh, wow. but I think it made big enough wave that it's actually like that's the big thing. You know what I mean? I think they handle. What can we, we handle here? We can handle a lot. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's the same lomi noodles we had before, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. It with chicken, cooked with teriyaki sauce, and kubasa sausage, and broccolini. The garnish is fried rice noodles. Okay? Ooh. Fancy. Aloha. So this isn't even everything. This is still just a little bit. Like, we still have more food coming. Wow. Holy moly. You've got the uh, roasted eight-way chicken with Polynesian-inspired chimichurri, and then the broccolini, and then also the Ohana noodles, which, you know, everyone loves the Ohana noodles, and then kabasi, and then we're gonna get the actual wood-fired grilled teriyaki beef. This is amazing. The, oh yeah, the bread pudding's the last. Oh, here comes the steak now. We need a bigger table. Ooh, we We're gonna do. need a bigger boat. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. This is amazing. Look at that. Wow. So it is all cooked on the kebabs, and then they just take it off. Yeah, I saw them uh, back moly. in the kitchen cooking on the kebabs. Look at that. And you're right there. Folks. Oh my lord. I think I'm gonna get the meat sweats. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be hard to finish all this. So we're, we're actually sitting with a party of six and they brought out so much food at the end here. I think we're going to get more though. I think we could do it. Like I know I, I could probably, I could, I could put a dent in probably one of those skillets. <laughs> Let's dive in, right? Holy moly. We got all, we got multiple little uh, tongs here. Yeah. You want to share a tongue? Here you go. Or do you want the shrimp casserole? You just want to put it over there? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna build build a plate here. Build I'm gonna a build a plate. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna grab some, some of the teriyaki casserole. beef. 
Nope, that's not the Bada bing, bada boom. This, I think, is for this. Excellent. And the spoon is for this. Here we go. Then we'll grab some chicken. This feels like Thanksgiving. <laughs> right? Like a family meal, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Oh, look at that noodle pole. There we go. There we go. Shake it off. <laughs> Get there we go. There you oh go, boy. <laughs> Scoop sea potato. Like <laughs> they also had noodles and sausage on that one too. Okay. So this is kind of like a bigger portion and that's a smaller one. Yeah. Oh, I gotta take a little a little a sausage. Kielbasa. Little kabasa, a little broccolini. We're definitely gonna need more broccolini. Yep. Now. And I think that's it. I think I got everything now. Oh wait. I do need to get a little bit of the shrimp casserole. Yeah, look how steaming. I like that. That's the way. <laughs> I got my plate all together. A little bit of everything. That's the way. And we're diving right in to the noodles. Oh, yeah. No fuss at all, but as I spoke earlier about the dumplings, the same goes for these noodles. My first time, like, having teriyaki or soy glazed noodles. I. I've never really experimented before with like, like food outside my comfort zone, except for when I came here. And now I've been finding places that duplicate these noodles and no one does. So long awaited here. Oh boy, I'm gonna bite this all right now. Oh boy. <laughs> amazing I, I am just so happy honestly and I'm also happy that they sell these over at the Tambu lounge so just in case I can't get my reservations here like today I was gonna get these noodles regardless like regardless I was walking out of here with these noodles and here I am okay so I just had the noodles and the cast members they asked Anybody want any more noodles? As soon as they dropped the plate down, like they dropped down all of the different dishes and they said, anybody want more noodles? And of course we said yes. And they brought over a gigantic skillet just of noodles. And it is so amazing. Oh my God. Look at this, so isn't that just gigantic? It's huge, right? And no, but we're gonna eat it all. Did we combine this skillet already? Yes. Yeah. No. Oh boy. Oh, this is so good. It's going down. <laughs> So one thing that I immediately noticed is the chicken is different and it's actually not on the skewer. This is actually bone-in chicken. Uh, it's I guess the way they're making an eight-way chicken. So I I'm gonna try it now, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the old chicken better because I loved it. I love getting that char taste. So we'll see, this is more of a, a seasoned chicken itself. Mm. Oh yeah. I think I definitely like the old chicken better just because of the char, but this is still very good chicken. It's like chicken that you would get like with a good seasoning on it, like rotisserie. Now, even though the steak or the beef is actually cooked on the skewer, it isn't the same either, but it does have that char to it and I do appreciate that. And it also has a teriyaki glaze to it and I'm excited to try it because it looks good and it's the way I like it. But I wonder if you can get it cooked a little less because it seems like uh, a little bit on the well done side. So I don't know if they take preferences or not. I'm gonna try it the way it is right now. I, I'm gonna like it though because of the char and even though uh, it's not like the way that I would eat it in general, you can still taste the flavor, but here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Very good. I actually like the steak more than I like the chicken. And I also tried the kibasi and that is actually decent. I wasn't expecting the kibasi to be good here, but it is actually a really, really good. So we just asked and you can ask for like a specific temperature. So we're gonna switch and we're gonna get one that's mid rare and sauce on the side because I'd like to try it on its own, but I'll still eat this because this is like actually really decent. Even though it's set to like mid well, I mean, I think that's just a generic like temp that they cook it through. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of damage here. We're eating a lot of food. I'm gonna try the shrimp now. I'm so excited to try the shrimp, but I'm also a little bit nervous because it's not gonna live up to the expectations of the old shrimp, but I'm gonna give it a go. My first instinct was to kind of 
take the casserole off the shrimp and just eat the shrimp on its own. I'm gonna try it with the casserole first, but like I'm very hesitant. I'm going for it though here. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not great. I mean, it's not at all the shrimp that they wouldn't sell here, but I mean, I think they need to bring the shrimp back. They do. I mean, hands down. <laughs> and in the center of our dining room, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the chefs of the evening. Thank you. And our hosts and hostesses, we have brought you into our dining room together. Please put your hands together. Up front for the hosts and the hostesses. <laughs> and we have a, a young lady in our audience. She's our seater for the evening. Please put your hands together for my sister, Ika Peia. Ika Pelika. Regardless though, I think this is still a very good meal. Like honestly, for the price value compared to other price values, this is the best you're gonna get, hands down. One thing I didn't show before, but take a look at that view. Look at that view, we've got the castle right back there. Absolutely amazing, I know it's a little bright, but you can see it just a little bit. Kinda looks like a little bitty castle at this angle, doesn't it? An itty bitty castle. I'm gonna get myself some more noodles though. Look at this. Gotta get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Also take a look at this. We got some chicken nuggets and french fries and mac and cheese. This is the kid offerings. And yeah, just look at all the food though. Holy moly. <laughs> I was talking a big game like I was gonna eat a lot. I do feel like I did eat a lot, but I probably could have done a lot more. Like I could have eaten a lot more, I feel like. But it's kind of, it's still earlier in the day. I have to say that all of the originals are my favorite. I love the noodles, I love the wings, but the kibasi was probably my favorite out of all the meats. And the steak without the teriyaki glaze on its own is actually really decent. So overall, like, I would, I would definitely think this is a great family-style meal. It's probably the one that has the most offerings, like I said. So it's definitely worth the price. <laughs> I can do the noodles. I can do another round. Oh boy, not that much. <laughs> That's just enough plenty. Rip. <laughs> Gotta shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> now it's time for the best part of the meal, the bread pudding. Now, oh, I've had the bread pudding for a while now because they were still serving it at uh, the Tambu Lounge and inside Kona. You could even get the bread pudding to go. There it comes. Oh, look at that. Oh, double skillets. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> but look there at how go. pretty Yay. that is! So Macaroons and everything! Oh. That is amazing! <laughs> so, sauce on it? Oh, yeah. Sauce on it, yep. Give us that pour. Oh, that is the way. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. You have another sauce in there? Oh, extra and sauce. Yeah, Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I love when they pour the caramel sauce on. I am so excited to dive into this. And it's so good because it's bread pudding that like holds together. You know what I mean? Ain't no soggy bread pudding here. Yeah. This is my first time having Ohana bread pudding. I know they do serve this at oh. Kona also. I thought I got it with you. Yeah, maybe we got it at Kona. But is it the same? Yeah. Okay. There it well, is. Here it is. Still the best bread pudding I've ever had. Absolutely love it. Now I am completely full and I need to move along. It was such an amazing dining experience. We were in there for like two and a half hours, no joke. And it was so good, every single part of it. Still, without having the favorites, I still think it's an incredible value for the price. Like I said, in the experience, I do miss the shrimp and I miss the chicken and the steak the way that it was, but I'm all on board for the new things uh, to at least give them a try. Do you know what I mean? It's still worth it for the price. 
before I head out though, I did want to show you the Tambu Lounge is selling the noodles for Ohana and it has all of the bar stools back. So no longer the tables and it is first come first serve. So definitely a spot if you want to come get the noodles, this is where you can be. And say hi to Francisco. <laughs> Since we're here in the Polynesian and we are here for dinner, I think we might stick around and watch Happily Ever After, walk around the resort a little bit and just enjoy this place because it is beautiful. So you get a nice little dinner and maybe a fireworks show. I'm happy with that. One thing I have to say about the Polynesian, it has the coolest looking furniture out of any resort. Look at this. Look at those kids chairs. Look at that couch and look at the chairs. Like they're huge. I want to sit in this chair just because I want to sit in the chair. It's a fancy chair. And of course, we got to take a look at the fancy fedoras here. I actually own this one, but I didn't get it in time to bring today. And I'm kind of a little upset that I didn't because I love it. I, I keep a big stash of hats at home that I like to switch out for occasions. But that one I forgot and I thought it was in my car. And oh well. Next time, I guess. Sadly, I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get happily ever after. Looks like we might get rained out. It's uh, like a light sprinkle now, but we'll check it out. We'll scope out the scenario always. One of my favorite things is when they put out the fresh towels so you can wipe yourself in case it does rain. But like I said, just little sprinkles. Raindrops falling on the glass. It's like a little sun shower, not too shabby. And also I noticed they have the fire torches going. I love when they light the fire torches. Look at that, isn't that so nice? So fun, and I like hearing them too. Oh, you can see the raindrops falling in the fire. I don't think we're gonna make it to Happily Ever After, guys. I am too full, and it's definitely gonna look like it's gonna rain. Honestly, if I show you the, the skies right now, it's gonna happen big time, and I think we should duck out where we can at the moment. Super, super gray skies, and we have just about an hour and 20 minutes, so it's probably gonna be an all out downpour, but it's okay. I enjoyed my oh. I think it's actually going to start raining now. You can see the, I can feel it in the, feel it in the air. And can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> So thank you, Christy and Katrina, for inviting us to your table. Uh, we probably wouldn't have been able to get into Ohana. If you plan on coming, um, they're not doing walk-ups. Like, I thought that they would, but I mean, it's just too popular. It is that good, it is that popular. And like I said, if you do wanna just get the noodles, go to the bar, Tambu Bar, they've got it. They even have the bread pudding too. So you can get kind of like a little bit of uh, a dessert and an appetizer, but not the main courses, sadly, or else I probably would be hanging out at the Tambu Bar with Francisco for hours on hours on end. Anywho's, like I said, that's gonna do it for me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of Polynesian uh, Ohana, and let me know what you think of it if you've eaten there before. I still think it's a great value, but I do like the old one a little bit better. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Look at this. I ran into someone who has the same exact tattoo and not just like the same like design, but like the same way. Like we have the elder wand in the middle. We did it the right way. Mine's a little different. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, like that's the traditional one. But I, I, I oh, wow. How crazy is that? I love it. Thanks, guys. Have fun. Have a good night.